Hello everybody. Today we are going to be reading Apple Fractions. Apple Fractions by Jerry Pilata, illustrated by Rob Bolster. This book is about apples and math. Apples are a fruit that we eat. They do not grow under rocks. They do not swim in the ocean. They are not made in a factory. Apples grow on trees. Apples. Thousands of different types of apples are grown around the world. Apples can be red, yellow, green, or some combination of these three colors. Fractions. What is a fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole thing. A fraction is shown by placing one number over another number. A line separates the numbers. Macintosh. Here is one whole Macintosh apple. This type of apple can be both a drink and a snack. A Macintosh is very juicy, but it, it is also crunchy and fun to eat. One whole. If you would like to share one apple with someone, what would you do? Two kids? One apple? A solution would be to divide the apple into two parts. A stem for one kid and an apple for the other kid? No, that's not fair. One half. How about a better way? Divide the apple into two equal parts. Here is one half of the apple. One half. Here is the other half of the apple. Two kids, one apple, two halves. Sharing apples and learning fractions is fun. Golden Delicious. This apple is called a Golden Delicious. On the outside, it has a thin skin. On the inside, the fruit is soft. Three thirds. What if three friends want to eat this apple? Three friends, one apple, three equal parts. Here is one third of a Golden Delicious apple. Not all apples have white fruit. The inside of this apple is light yellow. Two thirds. Here is what is left over when one whole apple after taking away one third. Two thirds. One third plus two thirds equals three thirds. Three thirds is a whole apple. Granny Smith. This is a Granny Smith apple. Is it ripe? Yes. A Granny Smith is green, even when it is ripe and ready to be picked off the tree. This apple is sometimes hard to chew. It is not sweet. It is a little sour. One whole. What if four people in a family want to eat one Granny Smith apple? The apple would need to be divided into four pieces. Each family member would get one fourth. The top of a the top number of a fraction is called the numerator. The numerator of this fraction is one. So one fourth. Three fourths. The bottom number of a fraction is called the denominator. The fraction three fourths has a numerator of three and a denominator of four. Red Delicious. Which apple tastes the best? Everyone has a favorite. Many people think the Red Delicious apple is the best looking and the best tasting. It is time to learn parts of an apple. Stem, skin, pulp, is that middle? core, and seeds. Most apples have 10 seeds. Orange. This is not an apple. It is an orange. It is another fruit that you can enjoy while learning fractions. There is no need to cut it. Under the peel, it grows in wedges. Oranges grow in warm climates. Apples grow in cold climates. Gala, one fifth. 
A gala is a medium-sized apple. It is about the size of your fist. The largest apples are as big as grapefruits. The smallest are the size of cherries. Four fifths. This gala is cut into five equal pieces. Each piece is one fifth. One fifth plus four fifths equal five fifths. When the numbers above and below the line are the same, the fraction equals one whole. One sixth apple blossom. Apple trees grow flowers in the spring. Bees fly from flower to flower and spread pollen on the apple blossoms. This is the start of an apple. Thank you, bees. Without bees, there would be no apples. Bees, five, six. One six of the bees is busy working. Five six of the bees are looking for another apple tree, or maybe even a pear tree, a plum tree, or a cherry tree. Portland. If you cut an apple sideways, you will notice that the core is shaped like a star. Dividing the apple sideways instead of top, from top to bottom will not give you equal parts. The top, the middle, and the bottom of an apple are each a different width. Six sevenths, one seventh. There are three basic types of apples. Eating apples, juice apples, and baking apples. No matter how you slice it, a Cortland is a wonderful apple to use when baking a pie. Asian pear. Sometimes looks can fool you. This fruit looks like an apple. It is shaped like an apple, but it tastes like a pear. Why? It is a pear. Let's use this Asian pear to learn about improper fractions. Eight eighths, one eighth, one eighth plus Eight eighths equals nine eighths, you eight eighths. If this pair is divided into eight equal pieces, each piece is one eighth of the pair. A whole pair is eight eighths. Imagine you have nine eighths. Nine eighths is an improper fraction. You would have to use two pairs to make nine eighths. Nine eighths is really one whole pair and one eighth of a second pair. One ninth, cider. What is the difference between cider and apple juice? Cider is squeezed from fresh apples. The liquid is tan and full of pulp. Apple juice. Apple juice is cider that has been filtered. The tan pulp is removed and the apple juice is clear. Are you thirsty? Would you like one fourth, one half, three fourths, or one whole glass of apple juice? One tenth. And nine tenths. Here are ten apples. Oh, well, there were ten apples. Here are nine apples. One has been eaten. One tenth is now a core. Nine tenths are whole apples. Six tenths plus two tenths plus two tenths equals ten tenths. Six tenths, two tenths, two tenths. The millions of tons of apples harvested every year are still picked by hand. Out of every ten apples, six are eaten fresh. Two out of every ten are squeezed into cider and apple juice. The remaining two out of every ten are made into canned apples, pie filling, jams, jellies, dried apples, and apple butter. Apple pie. While you were reading this book, someone baked an apple pie. Let's eat a fraction of it. Thank you guys for learning about apples and fractions with me today. Have a great day.